You know what I'm saying? Like we trying to we trying to like pick up some assets, man. You, you feel what I'm saying? Like for real, man. I'm trying to I'm trying when I die, bro, I want to have some properties in my name, some money to leave my kids, a life insurance policy for my family. Like that's what I want, bro. I'm sorry I'm building for you. Feel me? Jimmy Gang, what's poppin', man? What's gonna be back with another video, man? I'm double recording. This is the second video today. And I had to come back and say this, man. Listen, today's video is for the gentlemen and the women. For women, women and men. I usually be doing videos just for the men, but today, man, we talk about how to boss up. And whether you a female or a male, why not boss up? If you're not where you at, where you think you need to be in life, or got a plan towards getting to where you need to be in life, you need to boss up. So this is what we're going to do, man. That's what we talk about today, all right? Let's get straight into it because y'all know I try to keep these videos short because y'all retention span don't be that long. So listen, gang, how to boss up. Boom, number one, create a realistic savings plan slash goal. Create a realistic savings plan slash goal. What I mean by that, boom. Listen, no real man, no real boss want to be calling, calling somebody when they get an emergency. Like, Oh, you got a flat tire. You got to buy a new tire. You need three, four, five hundred dollars right now. You don't got it in your savings account. You can't afford to put that up. That's not cool, bro. That's not okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I ain't going to lie. We should try to have at least six months of, of expenses in our savings account. That should be the goal. I work for a financial industry, so I'm just telling you what, you know what I'm saying, what, what you should have. You know what I'm saying? And because I know that's what you should have, that's what I aspire to have. You understand? You should have at least six months of your bills, all of your bills available in your savings. Or if not in your savings, somewhere making money. You know what I mean? That's But really, that should be liquid money because you should have some other money that's invested. But we just, we starting small, bro. We starting small. And I don't want to give y'all too much generous bank talk. I, I, we talking nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? It's me and you here. You know what I'm saying? Me and you, bro. Or me and you, sis. Whichever one that's watching. You know what I'm saying? So basically, create a realistic savings plan. A realistic savings goal. Put a timeline on that goal. Have a plan of what you're going to do with that money. Obviously, some of it, if you don't even have money right now for emergency, the first thing you should be doing is putting emergency money up. Emergency money. Like, yo, bros, listen, man, you know you don't, you, all y'all been there. If y'all like me, you've been there before. You don't have to call somebody because you needed something. Like, and shout out to them that if they if, 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 if they was there for you when you needed it, shout out to them. Shout out to my bro, Jayami, man. Shout out to my bro, Major, man. Shout out to my bro, Mike, man. Shout out to... You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my bro, Matt, man. Shout out to all the niggas who, you know what I'm saying, throughout my younger years and shit that I went through, bro. You know what I'm saying? It been back and forth. Don't get it fucked up. I wasn't just asking. They was asking me too. But it was that type of situation. You know what I'm saying? Because we know we don't be saving our money. You be up sometimes. I be up sometimes. So we gonna hold each other down. But at the same time, that's not really how it should be as men. We should have our own bread, bro. Like, you gonna have a family at the end of the day, bro. You're not about to be calling no other man to provide for you and your family. You understand what I'm saying? And you, sis... You gonna have a family. What if you, what if the man in your life can't ain't getting it the way he needs to? Like, of course you shouldn't not even be with no nigga who can't like provide nothing and not bring nothing, no value to the relationship, sis. But at the same time, you need to have your own. Like it's about you, you having your own. And trust and believe. It's a lot of women who understand that. Cause at the I, I work for a financial institution. I'm gonna just tell you that. I do. You know what I'm saying? You know how many women, like, I know that when a relationship over, they come in crying and grieving and trying to get alone because they left alone. But then there's also, like, the 20% of women, the smart women, that got a whole savings account on the side. They got a whole savings account on the side where they got their own money. God forbid something happened, they got some bread. They not stuck out here calling that. You know what I'm saying? So that's number one. Boom. Listen, make sure you got emergency savings, yo. Let's just start with emergency savings. Every adult, bro, like, we touching 30, man. I'm 30. You know what I'm saying? So... If you 30, bro, if you touching 30, you around 30, you should have emergency savings, bro. It's no excuse. So get on that ASAP, bro. I don't want to see you out here. And then you're going to be mad when people telling you no. When you call them, like, yo, bro, can I get this? Can I borrow that? Nah, bro, I ain't got it, man. My kids need this. Nah, bro, I ain't got it, man. I just helped my mom. You're going to be mad then. You know what I'm saying? So, bro, just start a savings plan. Now, I'm going to help you with that. Listen, first of all, know how much you got to start calculating your math. You got to start doing math in your life. The only way your, your, your life going to get better is if you start doing math to figure out how you could progress. So for one, figure out how much you make after taxes, right? Then figure out how much you pay in bills after taxes. Then calculate the miscellaneous stuff. Figure out how much you actually have left after the bubble. So after all the back end, after everything, your bills, your weed smoking, your food, you might have went on a date, you might have took a bitch bowling, you might have... Calculate how much you're going to have left for sure. You know you're going to have this amount left that you that you just be spending anyway, but you have you be having it. You can save this. If that amount is four hundred dollars, five hundred dollars, 
If it's 500, take 250 of that and just make sure you automatically saving it. Boom. I'm a, open up another savings account. Number one, I should have started with this shit. You gotta have you gotta have bank accounts for this. You gotta have bank accounts. Seeing money in cash make it too easy to spend. When you got a money in your bank account and you and you constantly watching it grow, you don't want to touch it. You feel like a failure when you take from that. So you gotta start with an account, bro. Y'all niggas gotta. I know the shoebox shit sound good to y'all, bro, but we passed that shit, bro. Like. Yeah, we in the streets, a lot of us, I'm not, I'm out the streets, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of y'all niggas still in the streets, but you got to start thinking like a nigga that's out the streets because that's your goal, you're trying to get out the streets. Open a bank account, a savings account, title that shit, emergency savings. Maybe open, if you got if you got enough money, you know what I'm saying, you got a couple dollars right now and you already got a savings account, make this a secondary savings account. Because the savings account that you got right now, you too used to taking money out of. You know what I'm saying? So open a secondary savings account, put some money in that joint, save up a little bit of bread, open that savings account, make sure you put enough money in that joint that when you see it, it's like, yo, I want to keep this even amount. I'm never letting it go below this. You feel me? All right, let me not spend too much time on that topic. Boss yourself up though, man. This is all mental exercise. Like you got to do it. I know it's not easy. I know it's hard. We want to smoke up all our bread. We want to... I know what we want to do, bro, but you got to give yourself limits on everything. I'm dead ass, bro. Like, I was a bum-ass nigga sitting in Patterson Projects not that, not that many years ago, bro. I ain't had no goals. I ain't had no vision. I ain't know what I was going to do. I was just a broke-ass nigga in the hood, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? But mentally, I woke up, and I want y'all to wake up too, you heard? Y'all niggas, a lot of y'all niggas is from where I'm from. Y'all watching this shit. Y'all know where I came from. Dirty, dusty nigga, but I always got bitches, nigga. I was sleeping on my sister kitchen floor and still had bitches, nigga. Don't get it fucked up. You could, you could, no matter where you at right now, my nigga, you could come up. You heard, gang? No matter where you at, you could come up, gang. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? All right, so listen. Females and sex can't be top priority. Females and sex can't be top priority. That's a fact, bro. I'm sorry, like, y'all niggas gotta get it together, man. Females and sex can't be your number one thing you're living for in life. You're supposed to be living for the next day and progression and the next year and where you're gonna be. And if you got kids, bro, you a bum-ass nigga if you're not thinking about tomorrow. Like, dead ass. If you got kids, my nigga, you selfish. If you're only thinking about, like, like getting high and smoking and drinking, you're selfish, bro. You got kids, man. Your kids need you. They depend on you, bro. And you're an example of a man. If you got a son, you're an example of what he should be. If you got a daughter, you're an example of what's acceptable, what she should be looking for in men, bro. You can't be no bum-ass nigga, bro. You can't be out here just not doing nothing and thinking it's okay and you fly a little bit. You a little fly sometimes, so that's cool, but you don't really pay no bills at your shit. You really, you really could get kicked out anytime because it ain't your shit. You ain't really living in your own, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that, bro, it's not cool. Like, I understand that that's where you at right now, bro. I'm not trying to shit on you. I'm just trying to let you know, bro, progress for more, gang. That's, bro, that's, that's what I'm talking about, bro. So you can't be smashing randoms, bro. Along with that, females can't be top priority, bro. You can't be smashing randoms often, bro. You can't just be randomly always smashing randoms. You know what I'm saying? It's not cool, bro. It's, for one, it's reckless. It's dangerous. These bitches got rabies. Like, bro, these bitches nasty, bro. Let's keep it 100, man. The queens ain't just letting you run through them like that all the time on some easy shit. So the ones that you probably running into and smashing randomly all the time after the club, blah, blah, blah. They not of value anyway, bro. You putting yourself in risky situations. I, I ain't going to talk about all the risks that can come with a nigga. They can set your ass. If you a nigga that's getting money, they can set your ass up. If you a nigga that's, that's reckless and fucking bitches roll, they can burn your dumb ass, nigga. If you a nigga that's reckless and you can have a kill with this bitch. Now you got in debt for the rest of your life. Hey, bro, it's, man, I ain't going to go down the line because if you a nigga like me, bro, you know all the options. I'm going to try to keep this shit under 10 minutes, though, so moving on. It's too risky and it's too expensive, bro. Like, bro, you spending too much time on females. Spend some time with yourself. Get to know what's better for you. Get some time to know what you need to be doing. And you already not even on track 100%. You always trying to fuck bitches, bro. Life is not all about bitches, man. It's more than you, it's about pause, bro. It's more than your dick, bro. It's, it's about your life and where you want to be in a couple years. Time is money, bro. Use it wisely. Time is money. Use it wisely, please. Also, turn... This is this the last one. I'm leaving with this after this. I said I'm keeping it under 10 minutes. Turn your work ethic up. I don't care what it is that you're doing. Let's say you just like to go to work. You a nigga who you got a nine to five job and you don't see yourself doing nothing outside that nine to five job. Like you don't want to have a, a business on the side. You don't want to do nothing. Figure out a way that you're going to save some money from that nine to five to also make some money on the side. Whether it's crypto, whether it's something, buying a house. I'm going to keep it a hundred with y'all, man. For me, my goal is, bro, I'm about to buy a house. I'm trying to buy a house. I'm giving myself a couple years, bro. I'm buying a house, a three family, four family. And that's gonna be an investment. You know what I'm saying? Like we trying to we trying to like pick up some assets, man. You, you feel what I'm saying? Like for real, but I'm trying to I'm trying when I die, bro, I wanna have some properties in my name, some money to leave my kids, a life insurance policy for my family. Like that's what I want, bro. I'm trying to building for you, feel me? So for y'all, even if if you're not a nigga who wanna get money, bro, be healthy. Work on your health. Either way, do something that's productive to, to boss yourself up. Cause to be honest, bro, you should be focused on money though. Cause money is 
You can't be a boss without money. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. You can't lead your people without money. So you really should be trying to, eat. whether it's little things, it could be something small on the side. You want to open up, get a fruit stand. You fund the fruit stand. You want to send a nigga on a, on, you want to, you want to create a uh, a paper route. You you, you 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 send a nigga on a create a paper route. Send a nigga on a paper route, or you do the paper route. Whatever it is, get money. It's a lot of ways to get money, man. Legal ways to get money. We're not talking about. I didn't mention nothing illegal in in, in none of the shit that I just said, bro. So keep in mind, bro. Just figure out a way to get money, man. Especially if you're already working. You're already working, bro. Just figure out a way to, like, stop spending as much as you're spending and save some bread and figure out what to do with that so you can make more bread. But listen, Jimmy Gang, I'm off this. I was trying to do under 10 minutes because y'all don't be watching that long. If y'all keep, if I see the algorithm show y'all be watching longer, I'll make the videos longer. But for now, only the story time is going to be super long because I can't help that those are long. The story be it. It be a, it's a story. I can't control how long it is. So for those, they be longer. If you don't watch the whole thing, that's your loss. You know what I'm saying? But listen, Jimmy Gang, I'm off this. Subscribe to the game, man. Subscribe to the channel. Share this with your mother, your aunt, your brother, your cousin. If you're a female, share this with your man. He need this advice. If you're a female, share this with your homegirl. She need this advice. If you're a male, share this with the homies, man. Go watch this. Put this on a big screen when you're with the homies. And watch this. Like, yo, bro, is you doing this? Is you saving? Is you? Y'all got to start checking each other. I check all my homies. That's a fact. Listen, man, Jimmy Gang, we off this, man. I, I talk a lot. <laughs> Gang, I'm off this.